Hello all and welcome to my next video. Uh, in this video we're going to just kind of go through another mailbag. It's another Tales from the Mailbag uh, here on the rooftop two-headed cow caravan. I got it right this time, you see. Uh, yeah, I just got a few things in. going to kind of go over them real quick and um, open up some boxes. Give you an idea of what else is coming down the pipeline. There's a lot. I still haven't finished unboxing everything from the last couple of mailbags. So this is kind of just piling on, but it gives you an idea of things to expect on the channel. And, um, yeah, first thing, uh, I guess we'll just kind of go ahead and start right into it. Uh, first thing we got is the Pro Wrestling Crate for November. Um, I'm not going to open this up here. I have my own little set of videos where I open up the Pro Wrestling Crate, but it did come in the mail, so there you go. Uh, I think the first thing we're actually going to look at opening is going to be this um, Walgreens box. I ripped off the uh, shipping label so nobody could see. Uh, yeah, so not often, I don't think that we've ever gotten a Walmart box here on the channel, which should tell you what this could be. Um, there's a few Walgreens exclusives for certain stuff out there. So, maybe this will give you guys a little bit of an idea. This is a giant box for such a small item. <laughs> um, but there it is. And what we ended up getting is the... Marvel, Le Marvel Legends Walgreens Exclusive Nova. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... Marvel Legends, and I want to say, uh, I'll come back to the others in a minute. I feel like Marvel Legends is kind of the thing Walgreens gets the most of in terms of exclusives. I know for a, um, a little bit they were getting some DC exclusives. Um, I have the Walgreens exclusive Bizarro from a couple years ago, um, before McFarlane got the license. I think it's just a DC Direct or a Mattel or something, um... For a little while, they had WWE Elite Walgreens exclusives. There were a lot of the female wrestlers. Um, I think, like, Becky Lynch and her steampunk outfit is one of those. I know there's a Maurice Walgreens exclusive. Um, it might have been an Alexa Bliss one, too, or a Stephanie McMahon one. I can't remember. Um, and then every once in a while, you get a Walgreens uh, Star Wars Black Series exclusive. Um... Like General Veers, I know he's a Walgreens exclusive because there are tons of General Veers at my Walgreens. Uh, but, got Nova. Um, a while back, I unboxed the Obsidian Surfer. It's like the more kind of dark gray silver surfer. That was Walgreens exclusive. That's kind. Of, there were kind of three all in that group. There was the Obsidian Surfer, this Nova, and there's a Quasar. I still want the Quasar. That's the only one I don't have. And I would love it because it's like a very classic looking Quasar. It'd be awesome to have. Um, but, yep, there we go. This will be pretty fun to look at, or um, to go ahead and do an unboxing of. I, I like Nova. I'm a big fan of Marvel's, like, more cosmic, crazy characters. I think Nova fits right in there. And this is definitely more of a, like, classic Nova. Um, so, cool. Glad to have it. I still want to get a Nova Prime. When he was Nova Prime. Uh, kind of go with the Annihilation stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we got Nova there. Uh, I'm almost positive, like, three out of the four of the boxes that are sitting here left are all big, bad toys. Uh, did y'all hear that? My uh, notification just went off. I don't even know. I couldn't, didn't even see what it was before it went away. Uh, but we'll take a look at this Target box um, again. What is in here is a Target exclusive. I'm not going to show you the other side because it still has the shipping label. But uh, what is in here is a Target exclusive. So maybe that'll give you an idea of what it could be. Uh, maybe not. Um, well, what we have is a... G.I. Joe Classified Series Barbecue Kelly. Um, hmm. Either way, 
awesome. Glad to have it. It's another one of those um, G.I. Joe characters that I want. Um, I'm not getting every G.I. Joe that comes out. I am getting the characters that I like or want. Barbecue Kelly is one of those, so... Yeah. Glad to have him. He should be a pretty fun one to kind of unbox. I might unbox him in Major Blood at the same time. Do like a double unboxing, kind of, like Target exclusives, because Major Blood was a Target exclusive. Might do that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, I might have lied about that. I think... Okay, there's three boxes left. Two of them are Big Bad Toy Store. I know that. I think this one is... I'm looking... I'm trying to look at the shipping label. I think this one's GameStop. I'm going to say this one's GameStop. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I, I think it is. It's an exclusive. If it is, then I know what it is, because there's only, like, a couple of things I've gotten from GameStop lately, like on pre-order. And this would, it would have to be one of those two, so. And one of them I don't think is even out yet, so. Yep, there we go, okay. So it is GameStop. Uh, but what we got is the GameStop exclusive. GameStop exclusive. The Joker, the Comedian. Um, I get why they called him the Comedian. To me, this is just Killing Joke Joker. Um, that's what it is. It's from the Three Joker storyline, which um, I'm not going to lie to you, I th I, I'm not a fan of. I don't like the idea of there being Three Jokers. I think it's just a half-ass way of trying to do more Batman and more Joker because DC seems to only be able to do that now. Um, but... It is Killing Joke Joker. I like that aspect of it. I love The Killing Joke. It's a great story. If you've never read it, go back and read it. Um, but yeah, this is a GameStop exclusive. If you try to go and order the whole set, you're only going to be able to get Batman and the other two Jokers. And then I think there's one more in that set. I can't remember, but he is not included in that. This one is a GameStop exclusive. It's very weird. Um... Funny enough, I've actually seen all of these at Walmart recently. We have the McFarlane version of um, Wonder Woman. Like, if he did Wonder Woman, that's what she would look like. We have the Shazam Who Laughs, or King Shazam, which is just stupid. Yeah, I said it. Um, I think most of that uh, that laughs characters is stupid. Um, pretty sure, what is that one? Batman... Curse of the White Knight. There you go. Looks like right there we have... Uh, Batman with Battle Damage. I haven't seen that one. I've seen Dr. Fate. And I want to get that Dr. Fate from Injustice. I kind of want to get that Dr. Fate. It looks really good. I'm a Dr. Fate fan. But anyways, we got the Killing Joke Joker. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, and glad to have it. Like I said, I like the Killing Joke. I think it would be cool if we got a Brian Boland... Batman to go with it. That would be awesome. Um, who knows? Maybe one day we will. Uh, but yeah. Glad to have this. Should be fun to look at at some point. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is going to be a shorter mailbag just because um, a lot of what I got left in the pipeline that I've ordered is all pre-order stuff. So a lot of it's not in yet. Um, and it's just shipping like slowly but surely. From different places like Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, but we'll look at this one. Uh, what I just do? Oh, there we go. Uh, I was opening it. I apologize. I didn't even show you the box. This is from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I think I know what this one is. Because I know this and the other one that are from Big Bad Toy Store... Uh, I know what the two are. I just don't know which one's in which box. So, let's see what this one is. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. It is the NECA Frankenstein black and white version. Yeah, so there we go. Um, a while back on this channel, I unboxed the color version. 
Um, and I got rid of it. Um, I went ahead and I made the choice of switching to the black and white versions of the Universal Monsters. So you'll see me do the black and white mummy, the black and white wolfman, the black and white Dracula when that inevitably comes out. If it has a black and white variant, I'm going to do it. I think these movies are more remembered and more iconic that way. And then if it's a movie that's a little bit more iconic or more remembered for being in color, then I'll get the colorized version. Kind of like um, if they did the Metaluna Mutant, I would probably get that one in color because that movie's a little bit more remembered for being in color. I don't even think there is a black and white version of that movie. Um, black and white Frankenstein, we're going to unbox it. I already got rid of the color version of Frankenstein, so there's no comparison. I mean, to be fair, it's the exact same figure, just with a palette swap, basically. Um, but I already sold that one, so... Glad to have it. I do wish the black and white versions came with, like, the classic poster. I think that actually would have made more sense. Um, and last box. It's a little bit bigger. And now that I think about it, I kind of know why. But here it is. This is also from Big Bad Toy Store. Like I said, Ned, the more that I think about it, I think I understand now why this one is bigger. Because um, I, knowing this company, I don't think... I don't think it would have fit in the other box. Just tear the whole box, Bob. Um, there we go. So what we have here is the Storm Collectibles Kung Lao. I haven't done a Storm Collectibles in a while. I think the last one I did was the Sub Zero, the MK3 Sub Zero. This is Mortal Kombat 2 Kung Lao. Um, ooh. Yep, there we go. I like it. Um, I'm only getting characters I really like. I know there's a lot of Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat, at the, or Mortal Kombat figures at this point. So far, I have Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I now have Kung Lao. And I wish I got the Raiden. I need to go back and see if I can just find a Raiden Storm Collectibles. Um, I want to get that one really bad, but, um, yeah, so we got Kung Lao now. Uh, that would basically be four out of like my top five favorite characters in Mortal Kombat. And I'm trying to struggle as like who I think the fifth one would be. Um, there is a Storm Collectibles Ermac, isn't there? But it's like expensive and it was like a con exclusive, I think. Might be wrong. Uh, Kung Lao though. I like it. It's pretty cool looking. They uh, just uh, put up a reptile one for pre-order not that long ago. Not, not really a big reptile fan, but still pretty cool to see it. Um, trying to think of who would be another one I would get. Scorpion. There's Sub-Zero, who's my favorite Mortal Kombat character. S uh, Scorpion. If I could find Raiden, I'd get that one. Kung Lao here. I don't know. Maybe a... Oh, wow. I really don't know. That's a tough one. Maybe like a classic Shang Tsung would be pretty cool. But uh, that's it for this mailbox. Um, Tales from the Mailbag. Uh, pretty straightforward one. We got, what, one, two, three, four, five boxes? We got the Joker here. Uh, we got Barbecue Kelly. And then we got uh, our first un uh, Walmart, uh, Walgreens one. I know I've done Walgreens exclusives before. But our first time, like, actually opening up a Walgreens box. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, Tales from the Mailbag, a relatively simple one. I think this is probably a good thing, considering the last couple I did were really long and had a bunch of stuff. Um, but, oh, yeah, huh. I am missing one thing. I just totally remember. It's sitting here, too. Uh, okay, so moving these out of the way. I guess you could say these are the things I actually got in the mail. Um, okay. 
These are not from the mailbag. These I found at Walmart. I found the Fantastic Four set. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I only bought the four. I got Sue. We got Reed. We got Johnny. My, and then of course we got my favorite, Ben Grimm. So there you go. Um, I've thought about going and getting the last two, Psycho Man and High Evolutionary. I kind of want High Evolutionary because he's, um, he actually plays a part in the, uh, second Annihilation, Annihilation Conquest. Kind of want to get him from that. Psycho Man, I don't know enough about to care. Uh, but yeah, we got Thing, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, and Human Torch. So there you go. Uh, like I said, th these aren't part of the mailbag per se, but I do like to show off what I get at stores. And uh, I did get these. I found these at Walmart. Funny enough, Walmart would not sell them to me at first. I kept trying to ring them up at the self-checkout and they would not pop up. The lady came over to help. She could not figure out what it was. And so they wouldn't sell them to me. Like, they just uh, flat out wouldn't. And I asked if I could put them on hold. And a few days later, I went back and they were still there. They had them on hold for me. So to their... To its credit, Walmart kept its word and held these for me. And then when I checked out that time, they rang up properly. So I don't know what was going on there, but yeah. Um, yeah, so we got all the stuff from the mailbag. Uh, the pro wrestling crate as well and some Fantastic Four stuff. It's um, a lot of fun stuff to kind of come down the pipeline here. Um, but again, a shorter mailbag video, um, surprisingly. Usually I'm used to like these really long drawn out like 30 minute ones um but this one's relatively short pretty plain and simple pretty straightforward we'll see what else comes down the pipeline in the next week maybe next weekend when i do another if there's enough stuff i'll do another mailbag um until then i'm just gonna try to knock out the stuff that i've got in um but thank you and this has been another issue of tales from the mailbag on the rooftop two-headed cow caravan um, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to, but I appreciate anybody who does. Uh, thank you, and I will catch you guys in the next video.